Workflows is the software used to access the catalog and patron records stored on the Circe Dynix servers. You can download Windows and Mac versions of Workflows from the jazzynorth.ca website. Once you have Workflows installed, you can launch it by double-clicking on the icon on your computer's desktop. When Workflows first starts, you are shown a configuration window. Operate in offline mode should be unchecked. Under host information, the IP address is olsn.circedynix.net. Port is 5100. Login timeout should be set to 60 seconds. This is how long workflows will attempt to connect to Circedynix's server when logging in before it fails. Very important, the option to show this window on next startup should always be selected. If this is not selected, you will not be able to operate in offline mode. All data is stored remotely on Circe Dynex's servers. In order to access this data, you need to have an internet connection. If your internet connection is unavailable, you can use Operate in Offline mode to continue doing transactions, checking in and checking out, and user registration. This information will be synchronized with the rest of the data once you are able to connect to the internet. Please contact the Jazzy Help Desk if you need to operate in offline mode, and again once you have reconnected. With all of the settings in place, you can click on OK to open the login window. Each library has three accounts with different levels of access, a CERC, a tech, and a super account. Enter the user ID for the profile you want to log in as, followed by the PIN. Click on OK. This will launch Workflows. At the very top of the Workflows window is the main menu. File, Edit, Wizards, Modules, Preference, Tools, and Help. Below are the modules, and down the left side are the wizards relevant to whichever module you have open. In the main menu, under File, you can set your default printer under Print Setup, and you can use the Update Staff Client to force an update of the software if the auto-update is not working. Under Edit, you can cut, copy, or paste text. Alternately, you can use the standard keyboard shortcuts of Ctrl-X to cut, Ctrl-C to copy, or Ctrl-V to paste. Note that there is no right-click option to perform these actions within Workflows. Under Wizards, all wizards are listed. However, if you do not have access to a wizard, you will not be able to open it. Under Modules, only the modules that you have access to are displayed. Under Preference, you can perform some customizations as well as set up your receipt printer. The first option under Preference is Configuration. This will bring up the same configuration window that was displayed when Workflows first launched. If you had unchecked the Show This Window on Next Startup option, this is where you would need to check it so it appears again when Workflows starts up. Under Peripherals, Receipt Printer, you can enable your receipt printer by checking the Receipt Printer Available option and choosing your receipt printer in the drop-down. If you want to see the printer dialog window before printing a receipt, check off the option at the top to display receipt printer dialog. By checking this, you have the option to not print a receipt by cancelling the print job. Under Preference Desktop, you can customize some aspects within Workflows. Font Settings lets you change the size of the text as it appears in the menus or in the windows. 
Under Current Toolbar, you have access to the Function Key Mapping. Here you can customize many of the keyboard shortcut options to launch wizards or perform tasks such as print. Under Localization, Current Language, you can switch to an English or French interface. Under Desktop Setup, there are two options you should modify. In the Max Response Size field, change the number from 3 million to 5 million. Lower down in the window, enable the Multiple Windows Mode and Tabbed Windows option. This will make working in workflows much easier, allowing you to have more than one wizard open at a time. You will be prompted that the changes won't take effect until you restart workflows. Other useful options in this window are to set a default opening wizard so that it opens as soon as Workflows launches. You can switch to a 24-hour clock format. You can also change the look of Workflows by changing the theme. Most of the theme changes are simply different color schemes. However, do not use the classic theme. This will change the Workflows interface dramatically. Not recommended. The final option on the main menu is Help. When you click on Help, Contents, it launches in your default internet browser. You can browse through topics or do a search to find information. A better way to quickly get help for the current wizard you have open is to click on the Context option. This will jump directly to the help topic related to the open wizard. Key Enhancements shows the latest updates to workflows. Session info will show you information based on the profile you're logged in as and host information about the Cersei Dynex server. About will show some details about workflows including which version you have installed. At the time of this recording we are running version 3.5.2.0.1171. Below the main menu is the Modules toolbar. This is where you access the various tools to do your daily tasks within Workflows. Depending on which profile you logged into Workflows with, you will see different modules. Once you select a module, the accompanying wizard options display along the left side of the window. Wizards are divided into groups. Cataloging has all the wizards you need to add or modify mark records or items. Spine label templates are created using the Label Design Wizard. You can expand or collapse groups of wizards by clicking on the group name. The wizard side panel can also be resized to see the wizard names or to give a bit more room to work. Clicking on a wizard brings up a window in the main view. Most wizards have helpers across the top of their working window to perform relevant tasks such as searching or launching related wizards. The circulation module contains wizards related to daily circulation tasks such as check-in, check-out, paying bills, and placing holds. You can also do some basic cataloging with the Add Brief Title option. Multi-branch libraries can use the In Transit option to transfer and receive items from one branch to another. When working with some wizards, you'll notice that some fields have an icon at the end called a gadget. 
Gadgets are used to enter dates or select item or patron types. Much easier than manually entering the information because you don't have to worry about the date format or typing errors. The offline module contains the wizards you have access to while operating in offline mode. It's important to contact the Jazzy help desk if you are working in offline mode. In order for transactions performed in offline mode to synchronize with the data stored on Cersei Dynex's servers, we will need to run a report to do this. An important note about offline mode, since you will not be connected to the remote server, you cannot perform searches for patrons or items. If a patron does not have their library card number, you will not be able to look them up while in offline mode. The reports module contains wizards that allow you to run, schedule, and edit and view reports within workflows. Reports can be set up to collect circulation stats, count patrons and items, push out overdue notices to patrons, and much more. If you are trying to set up a report, let the Jazzy help desk know. There may already be a report configured for what you need. The Serial Control module contains wizards used to link Serial Control predicted issues to title records and add periodical issues to those records. Mainly used for subscriptions you receive regularly, if you have periodical subscriptions or a large pile of back issues, it may be worth setting up a Serial Control to simplify adding these items to your catalog. There are a lot of tools within workflows designed to help you with your daily tasks from cataloging to circulation and reports.